Okay. I'm going to put together this Rolex movement. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is oil the palette for Jewel. I already oiled the escape wheel Jewel. So I'm going to put the escape wheel back in. Okay. The center shaft. Okay. And now the bridge to hold both of those pieces. Two screws that hold the bridge. Tighten down those screws. Okay. I'm going to put back. There's a little lint on this, I can see it. So you touch it with this little sticky putty. And there's a piece on this side that I saw. Okay. A little trick that I learned in watchmaking school. You take your pith wood and you push your jewel in there. And that cleans it all out. You can see the impression that it made of the jewel. And then something I've learned over the years, I roll my gear over the one touch, check both pivots. Now this one goes over here. Not sure if it's supposed to go in yet. Or does this go in next? So, nope. Okay, looking at that, that looks good, that looks good. Do the same thing on the gear. Put that in. And guess what? So the rotation is this. Second, second hand gear goes in. Okay. Then this. An intermediate gear. Goes in last. Kind of going the right way. Kind of almost always do. I already oiled this bridge with the cap jewel. So you have to take it apart, which is what I've done. Okay, so the escape wheel's there. So it looks like. Nope. Okay, it goes here. I can see that. They give you sometimes little indicators or so you can't mess up. Okay. Now you gotta feel the, the gears back into the jewels. One. One. I got one. Two. I'd say I got them all. So check it. Yep. I got them all. Now I got to put the screws back in for this bridge. Tighten down the screws.
touch up anything I gotta touch up. I'm not gonna oil anything yet until I'm ready to oil everything here. Okay, now I'm gonna replace the uh, mainspring next. I'll take a pause and make it pot too. There's no mainspring in the mainspring barrel cover and arbor. Okay.